How's it going, everybody? I do want to drink with you here today. I think it's been a little bit <laughs> since I did one, maybe a week, maybe a little more. I've got a Monster Energy Ultra Paradise. And where's Paradise? A chalet on the slopes, a streamside ranch, or a penthouse in the city? How about a private island with a white sand, beach, turquoise water, and a gentle... Tropical Breeze, Monster Ultra Paradise, pure, crisp, invigorating island flavors. Kick back and enjoy Paradise wherever you can find it. Okay, so I don't know what this is going to taste like, Paradise, apparently, so. And I will be eating some uh, Doritos Minis. I saw these in Stop and Shop last week, the Cool Ranch ones. They had uh, nacho cheese now as well, so I figured I'd grab them. They're two fifty, which isn't terrible, I guess. A little bit more expensive than Pringles, <laughs> but not much. I will drink first a little bit. I want to see if they're little, they're little triangles, I guess. Maybe I want to see how big they actually are. All right, let's uh, give this a go here. <laughs> the amount of friggin' salt in this thing, sodium is insane. Three hundred twelve milligrams. in the right smell. It's not bad. It definitely is crisp, actually. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to... I'm looking at the ingredients here to kind of get an idea of what uh, possibly has in it, but of course you never actually see what's in here because it's just a bunch of weird fucking words. <clears throat> oh wait, here's the blend. Oh, it's just a blend of the stuff. Hmm. This doesn't have an insane amount of uh, caffeine either in it, actually. I always like... I forget which brand it is that has like the 300. It's not bad though. I don't know if there's like a little mango in there or a peach. It's hard to, it's hard for me to tell. I'm not good at, uh, I'm not good at like picking up flavors and stuff. I would, I would be a terrible food and drink actual critic. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe a little bit of a tropical mango with some of those other drinks I'm comparing to the other drinks like kind of like that like maybe even a little bit of a pineapple perhaps in there I don't really I can't really tell but it's not bad though definitely crisp and uh, it's actually pretty refreshing that's why I like that kind of light light kind of taste that's pretty good I'll give that a score in a few minutes as if anyone cares <laughs> oh wow they're literally just little Doritos I thought maybe they'd be like bigger triangles. I mean, it says mini, but like, you know, maybe not as big as the one you get in a bag, but a little bit bigger than this. Obviously, it's just Doritos, but in a can now. for Cool Ranch to nacho cheese. The chili ones are good. In the purple bag, I believe, the chili ones 
are they? Maybe they're not. The ones in the purple bag I like too. them at Doritos, whoever runs Doritos, I don't know if they own Ofrito Way. I could see them like, <laughs> they're producing the chips and they just take, you know, when you like have the bag and there's all the busted up small pieces, they just take, throw them in a can, that's probably what they did, throw them in a can and sell them for two fifty. Because they're already a bit broken up in here too. That's what they probably do, they probably go, oh, shit. Chip sizes and broken chips that don't meet the standards of a normal sized Dorito. collection as well. I think when I did the first one, I had like 13 games. Now I have like 23 <laughs> because I got seven for Christmas. <laughs> and then I had gotten a few others. Maybe it's 14 I had in that first video. three games I've been playing. One I've been playing the most, two I started playing yesterday because I got them. Well, one was hers and then the other was mine that for Christmas. pretty good. I go about eight on this one. It is it is pretty crisp and refreshing, which is nice. And like I said, I, I think I'm tasting like some mango or, or pineapple in there or something. Probably not either of them, but it's not bad. <clears throat> pretty good. It's got a lighter taste. Once again, this one I feel like would, would go well on like a summer day. I don't know if people are drinking energy drinks just on a summer day in the backyard or something, but I could see myself doing that. I'll never do that. like Doritos and you kind of want to, this is like if you're on the road or something, you bust open a bag, it could go flying everywhere. If you like, don't forget to close it or have a clip to close it. This just popped the cat back on. It's pretty, actually pretty good for like a, having a car for a snack. Same bold flavor now, mini size. 
This is the kind of thing they'll just throw around in there. Who knows how it even sells. I did. I only noticed it. I didn't even see the price on it. Like, it didn't even have a sticker on the shelf. It was kind of pushed into the corner behind a, a cardboard, like, rack that was in front of it. It's a little bit like if you were just eating out of the, like, kind of towards the bottom of a bag of Doritos. They're all broken and small. I'm telling you, they... They probably literally just have cans lined up in the little pieces. They just go right in there. Sealed up. I may actually do an impressions video on a Final Fantasy VII remake as well. Um, I've talked about that in the past. That is a game that I never played when it came out. I was a Nintendo 64 person. I could have. I got all systems back then. Like I said, I was an only child, so I had the benefit of having half siblings. But I was my mom's only child, so I could admit I was, I was spoiled as a kid. <laughs> So if I really wanted a PlayStation, because that came out when I was in 11th grade, I probably could have got one, but I didn't, I was so like, Nintendo, Nintendo. Like, I like Sega too, but Nintendo was the one that was going to stick with. And, uh. I never played it. I, I, the most I've ever played of that game, I had it on the PS3. I downloaded it on the PlayStation Store years ago. And, uh, I, play, I think I beat that first, like, big mech thing in the first reactor. And then I think I left. Maybe it was on the streets. I don't know how, like, accurate in terms of, like, what you do in the remake compared to, like, where you go in the first one. I assume it's all the same places, but I don't know if it, like, played out the same way. I will say this, if I don't do the impressions video, if I do, I'll try it again. I'm really enjoying it, and this is another really good remake in the vein of, like, the Resident Evil 2. Especially 2. I didn't mind 3, Resident Evil 3 remake, but it was not nearly as good as 2. Um, it was a step back. I think they were going for more of a movie-type feel. But... This, this Resident Evil 7, it, this is what I love about it, especially if you, because even though I didn't play it back then, I played games, and I know the feeling, and I, I was around, you know, playing games at that point, so you get, it maintains the nostalgia and the old video game kind of feel and structure, while, while being modern in terms of graphics and gameplay and stuff, because they updated the combat system, obviously it's not turn-based anymore, it's, you know, it's like Final Fantasy 15 type shit. Just do the impressions in the what I've been playing video. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I will go and eat on this uh, Monster Energy Ultra Pride. This is pretty good. If you're looking for a crisp, more lighter tasting energy drink, that is actually pretty refreshing. I'd go with that. Doritos and you kind of just want to grab a can of them the broken Doritos pretty much that you get in a bag those smaller little ones but yeah uh, I gotta use this finger to turn this off this one's covered 
Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.